Hey guys, I'm Nate, welcome back to the workshop. Not too long ago, we showed you an easy way to make fire snakes using some sugar, some baking soda, and just a little bit of alcohol as a fuel. Well, in that video, a ton of people commented saying that they wanted to see what happened if we took the burned black fire snake and put it in liquid nitrogen or in a vacuum chamber. So today, we're gonna try both. For the first step, of course, we need to make our fire snakes. So I've got some of our powdered sugar and baking soda mixed up here. Let's add a little bit of alcohol on top of our sand, pour on some piles, and light them off. There we have it, some fire snakes, and now let's test out seeing what happens if we put one of these in a vacuum chamber and what happens if we put one in some liquid nitrogen. Let's do the vacuum chamber first. There we go, man, these things are so lightweight. So they are mostly air, and that's the kind of thing that usually reacts on a vacuum chamber, but I don't know if we have any closed cells. All of the air might just escape right out of it. Let's find out. All right, here we go. Fire snakes in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Some vapor coming off of it. Hmm. Other than that little bit of vapor, I am not seeing any change or even movement. We have a pretty complete vacuum already. But not a lot has happened. Well. Put some pressure back in. Feels exactly the same. Still lightweight, very crumbly. Basically turns to dust immediately. Really not a lot of change. So I guess it's a very open-celled structure, so all of the air that's inside is able to just get sucked out, and then you just have a sort of structure full of vacuum, but not air. Oh well. All right, we've tried our fire snake in the vacuum chamber. Let's see what happens if we dip our fire snake into some liquid nitrogen. We'll try, it's so lightweight. It'll just kind of float on top, but oh, maybe not. Looks like it's kind of absorbing it and sinking in. It's like halfway sunk in. That's something. Hmm. I do think it's sort of soaking in some of the liquid nitrogen. So as a test, I'm going to try taking it out putting it on the table, and then just smashing it right away. It might just kind of spray out some liquid nitrogen. Let's try it. Hmm. <laughs> well, it did kind of spray everywhere. The, the fire snake itself has so little cohesion, it just kind of turns to dust when you smush it. And I think the liquid nitrogen in there gave it a little added mass, and it just popped everywhere. It's just gone immediately. I think we'll have to try that again. This is definitely heavier. It has the weight of liquid nitrogen, and it starts freezing my glove. Yeah, you actually squeeze liquid nitrogen out of it like a sponge. So yeah, if it goes fast, it just explodes everywhere. You go a little slower and it squeezes it just like a sponge. Splat. Splat, splat, splat. Yeah, still got all of that nitrogen inside it. Let's see what happens if I pour a little bit of the liquid nitrogen right onto it. Yeah, it just soaks it up. Which is interesting. Most stuff that we pour liquid nitrogen onto, it just has the laden frost effect and it 
skitters across it and doesn't really get absorbed, but this stuff it really just absorbs it like a sponge. Make sure it's good and soaked, and then I'm just gonna smash it. Three, two, one. And it just turns to dust. It's gone. Well, there you have it, some fire snakes in a vacuum chamber, which really didn't do too much, and in some liquid nitrogen, which didn't make them any more fragile, but they did absorb the liquid nitrogen, which is something we haven't seen very much. Most materials don't absorb the liquid nitrogen, they just sort of either float on top of it, or the laden frost effect makes it so the liquid nitrogen doesn't soak into them. But this stuff really soaked it in, and we got some cool effects when we smashed it in slow motion, so that was pretty fun. If you have any cool ideas of things you want to see us try, let us know down in the comments, especially if it involves combining other projects we've already done. Thanks for joining us for this video today, and remember to come gear yourself up with products and merch at thekingofrandom.com. See you there. Not a lot has happened, except for the fact that it now has no air resistance as it tumbles around inside, so it moves faster.